Before we get into our really funny intro, I have to tell you that this video was sponsored by Squarespace. All right, so today, me and Will are gonna teach you how to punch yourself in the face. Exactly. And that means I'm gonna count down from three. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, three, two, right here. One. Oh! Oh! My nose! I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's honestly fine. I actually don't feel that bad. Okay, so I've actually punched myself in the face like a million times. Face. <laughs> So, to fix that... Oh. Bottom of my heart. I hate that sappy shit. So, at this point, I'm kind of an expert on this specific special effect. Okay, so now to punch yourself in the face, first I'll show you basically how to film something like this. So, as you can see on my screen here, I have two clips. Uh, one of me communicating on the right side of the frame and then on the left side. I filmed this scene on the right first, and as you can actually see, right down here in the corner of the couch, I actually was recording a video on my phone of the dialogue I was speaking. So in the second shot, I actually had the phone in my pocket. Right here. And, and I was listening to my audio cues from that video recording to know when to respond. So that makes it really easy to go back and forth between you and your clone because you hear what that other person is saying. Now, let's start editing. So basically, what I did is I took the second clip and this is an Adobe Premiere. I created a square mask. So if you come over to the left video effects panel and click create four point polygon mask, click on that, it'll give you this box. And if you just drag it down the middle, I basically just made sure that either one of my clones was standing on the opposite sides of the crack in the couch, which is where I'll divide this mask. And if we come back over to the mask panel and hit inverted, there we have half of our clone. And so now what we can do is if you look down at these audio waveforms, it's pretty easy to see where they sync up. So I'm just gonna put them where the audio matches up and play the audio back to make sure you have the same cues. Me and Will are gonna teach you how- And see, like that, it's like pretty simple. I filmed in a really evenly lit environment, so that's why if you look, you can't even tell that there is a, a cut between two of these because the lighting is, is so similar between each shot. All right, so now if we go to the punch part I filmed over here, One. you can see that my arm now goes behind this mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take right before my arm goes into the mask, we're gonna clip that, and that is the bottom layer. So hit C and click, which is just like the scissor tool and then come over to the point which my arm comes back from that mask and hit C and click. So now we basically have this chunk where my arm is now behind a mask. What we're gonna do is hit Alt, click, and drag that to the top. So now that layer is on top of everything so we don't even see our other clone. So we're gonna right click on this clip, come down to replace with After Effects composition and just hit that. So now what we're gonna do is basically open this up in After Effects and mask out our arm frame by frame until it comes back into the side of the mask. And so what we're gonna do here is really simple. If you come up to the top left corner of After Effects, you'll see the Roto Brush tool. Just click on that and double click on your subject. So we're just gonna start with the arm. It's basically just to color in like the box workflow because the Roto Brush tool automatically sticks to like colored pixels. And so if you hit Command and the right arrow, it just goes over one frame for you, and then just continue to color in your arm. So here, I'm just gonna time lapse this. Also, let's say you accidentally like rotoscope outside of your coloring. All you have to do is hit Alt, and that brings up this red dot, and that basically gets rid of places where you've masked. All right, now that our hand is back on the side of that crack in the couch, we know that we've basically are done masking. So from here, we actually don't need to do anything except open Premiere back up. And now that we're back in Premiere, we can see that the After Effects composition just did everything in After Effects and automatically transfers it to Premiere, which is really nice. So you can see that my, my arm is on top of my other Will's face. Just so this will run really smoothly, I'm gonna go to Sequence and Render Entire Work Area. Because usually when you bring an After Effects composition back into Premiere, just because you're now editing between two softwares, it might lag or be slow. I always render an entire work area if I'm doing an After Effects composition, because then you won't see any lag. All right, this little thin green bar at the top means it's entirely rendered. Now let's watch this punch. Bam, 
crushed it. Okay, and so now the next part is just adding realistic sound effects. And I actually have linked in the description below Epidemic Sound. You can actually use the link in my description to get a free 30 days. And you can actually keep all the sounds from Epidemic in those free 30 days and you don't even have to continue paying for it if you don't want to. So I actually have some good punch and whoosh sound effects that I get from Epidemic. So if we type in punch, um, impact punch face four, let's just drag that in. And also a sound effect I use all the time, which is kind of unlikely, is actually called torch five. It's the sound of a torch being brought near a camera microphone. So we'll just drag that in and we'll basically sync it up with the movements. <laughs> All right, and there you go. The best part of any video ever is good sound design. I hope this tutorial was useful. Maybe if you hate yourself a little bit, that you can punch yourself in the face now. Follow me on Instagram and show me you doing this effect and I'll share it on my Instagram story. And of course, I would love to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is a great way to show the world your work through a website. Let's say you're a photographer or a filmmaker. Squarespace has a feature that's an online portfolio for you to be able to show your work to the world, which makes Squarespace an all-in-one platform where you can have an online store, a portfolio, and just a professional website. Now let's say you're a numbers person. Squarespace has a lot of analytics that basically tell you where your traffic is coming from, if your website is popping, and a number of other useful analytics to tell you whether or not you're crushing it. Listen, Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas to succeed. So if you go to squarespace.com slash willcarmack, the top link in the description below, you can get 10% off your first website or domain. So thank you for watching this video, and where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.